All right. First question is from Eli J. Hall. Are power cleans worth a try? What do they benefit? Oh, power clean. You know, uh, power exercises in general are really good at uh, helping you build muscle and performance. The problem with power exercises is the there's a higher uh, skill level. So you yeah. need to be really, really good with your technique and you don't want to go uh, to fatigue or train super heavy until you're perfect mm -hmm. at the form. At one point, I put hang cleans in my routine on a regular basis and my goal was to get good at them. The side effects I got from the hang cleans were a more developed uh, upper back and traps that I didn't get from the traditional back exercises. That's what I noticed personally from them. Yeah, I think there's. I mean, it's kind of tough to get triple extension and to, to get your body to coordinate like uh, is required for a, a power clean. And I think that it's it, there's definitely a lot of value to it because there's not a lot of ways to apply speed in barbell training. And so that, that's one of those moves. It's like a definitive, like I'm, I'm working specifically on, uh, you know, power uh, with, with a specific move. And so I know a lot of coaches too in the sports world uh, go back and forth whether or not it's valuable in the programming for their athletes because there's like such a high uh, education that needs to uh, happen in, in, a, in a period of learning the, the actual skill of it because there's so many little nuances to it. So I know a lot of them will use like med balls or, or they'll do slam balls or they'll do, uh, you know, more like box jumps and, and different ways to get uh, this triple extension and this fast twitch uh, explosive uh, type of movement instead with, with less risk involved. So I, I think it really depends <clears throat> on your goal, right? So I, I, I think there's better ways to build muscle. I think there's better um, exercises for maybe specific performance attributes that you're looking for. But that being said, I also think that because it's a complex movement and it has so much benefit and carry over to strength, power, building muscle, it's an awesome idea. And this to me, like <clears throat> when I think of someone who asks a question like this, uh, and if I'm like training you, right? So if you're a client of mine and maybe you've been lifting for five, 10 years, long time, and you're asking a question like, uh, like uh, you want to get into power cleans, I think this is a great idea. I love, I think that at least for me personally, half of what's kept me going for, for decades as far as training is setting new goals. Like who cares if it doesn't build the most muscle for you or who cares if it's maybe not the best performance exercise. If you're interested in it, it's complex and you like working towards getting good at something, mm -hmm. it's a great movement for that reason. Because of triple extension like you're talking about, you're going to build your legs, you're going to build your upper back, your shoulders, your traps. I mean, it's got a lot of carryover. It's, an, it's a great movement. It's a high skill movement, though, and you will need to work towards it. But this is also, I think, what's fun. I remember when Justin first introduced like the windmill to me, and uh, I remember for like the next six months, like all I wanted to do was like train that. I wanted to get good at it, and I had lots of carryover. I got lots of benefits for getting good at that. And and to me, when you've kind of you know done the whole build a bunch of muscle, get hella shredded, you've you've you know, you know trained for sports, like to keep it interesting and fun, you know, and this become to be make it something that's a lifelong pursuit. I think it's an awesome goal to do things like this, to say, hey, I'm going to get good at power cleans and start to program it. Now, if you have very specific goals that, hey, I want to build a certain amount of muscle or I want to burn body fat, I, I think there's faster, better ways to get there than trying a really high skill movement in your routine. Yeah, you, you want to treat this uh, like the high skill movement that it is. And what I mean by that is practice, 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 practice. Don't use lots of weight. Don't use much weight at all. In fact, the ways to learn power cleans is you, you typically will start with a broomstick. Mm -hmm. You'll start with no weight at all, and then you progress to just the bar, and then you use just the bar for a long time, and then you add 10 pounds. And It's all about technique here, so you got to treat it as such. It is not like a curl. It is not like a leg press. It's mm -hmm. not like any other type of exercise. Power movements require lots and lots of skill, so if you decide you want to do it, uh, treat them um, as such. But I will say this, you get good at power cleans, which will take you a while, but you mm -hmm. get good at them. Your athleticism will go up more than with other exercises. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I, I, honest, I love them. And, uh, and I took a long time to you know, figure out the move and feel like I was proficient enough to, to pull it off. Um, I, I like it too as a, as a goal to set, you know, if, if, if something, if you've gone through and you've really ironed out a lot of uh, deviations and, you know, you've, you've been applying a lot of like, good mobility practices, your movement is really on point. You can stabilize on command. Uh, you know, you're moving good weight. 
uh, you're strong enough. Like this is like the next sort of progression. Like it is a good goal to to be able to do something like this that takes a lot of skill, but it also demonstrates, uh, you know, how much work that you put in leading up to that. 